Hi everyone, um, it's Jenny. I wanted to share the uh, Teddy Bear Altered Vintage Book um, album that I had done. Um, the book was uh, copywritten in 1893-1900, so it is old. Um, I didn't want to alter the inside pages. I just wanted to use the vintage cover, so I made the inside of an album um, as the paper bags. Um, so this is my cover. I used a teddy from the book cover. I used some wood um, tile letters to put in bear. And then I added some of, um, oh, the bear, um, I cut, excuse me, I cut out of um, the uh, Sherpa wool fur and pieced it together. And then um, I crocheted this little lace beaded trim down here and the flowers. And then I freehand sewed or quilted um, leaves and the base of this flower. And then I covered the, a button with fabric and then um, crocheted a button cover center for our center for the flower by crocheting to cover the button um, a stick pin the spine of the book has uh, the title Teddy still on it and it has muslin and seam binding and um, some petite shabby fabrics the closure is just um, ribbon and as you can see it got kind of chunky um, all of the paper bag pages at the top has um, two coordinating photo mats so there's enough room for uh, 20 photos just in the paper bags alone I counted up there's like over 50 um, real estate spots for the the mini album for either photos or journaling um, I wanted to stay with a book theme, so I went in and um, did some quotations and typed them off um, from the internet, and then I machine stitched them onto uh, papers and placed in the album. So I used a ball chain and then attached a small book for photos or journaling with teddy bear image. Then we have a tag, um, pocket page, quotation. Maybe I should put it up a little bit. And then of course, like I showed the two inserts at the top. And then um, this page, I used a vintage image and then um, page off the uh, b the book and I stitched on here the copyrights the copywritten to the book and then just use a piece of um, lace and then I made another insert booklet with pages to add your photos and stuff to that slides here oops I got that stuck um, then I use the contents, the chapters, the page numbers, and then I just have a piece of um, tea dyed muslin that I hand stamped as the strip to be able to, you know, add a tag or photos or whatever you wish to put uh, behind that little strip there. And then again, the two tags at the top. Uh, we have a couple of more images, tags, and then another quotation, pocket, and then I had taken and pieced together um, the pattern paper and all stitched it for the quilting effect. Then we have um, another tag. Stick out in this pocket. 
and it has the coordinating paper to the the line and then I put some lace trim and then another piece of the stamped hand stamped um, tea dyed muslin then I have a vintage image of a little girl holding the teddy bear and the um, strip of lace makes it to where you could add some slide something behind there and again the pages have all the inserts at the top um, I had taken the coordinating paper and added a um, it's in the, your section at uh, like Joanne's like where the Thule and stuff is I'm not exactly sure what it's called I was trying to embellish but not um, <sighs> embellish in the sense of making my page rise up since it was going to be used in the book covers I tried to keep the embellishment as flat as possible inside the book so to um, add to the the paper I sewed the tule over the top of it and the the images on the the pattern paper is showing through then I just um, glimmer misted a doily and then die cut for photo or journaling spot then we have <clears throat> a couple of more teddy bear images in the backs are finished. Pocket page, uh, just a die cut I used from my Cricut for photo and journaling spot. Um, then this pocket has burlap and stitching or trim that I had stitched on the pocket to give some texture. And the next page has a couple of more teddy bear tags, and they're finished on the back. Again, a pocket page, a quotation, I used um, a couple of the birds and the butterflies as die cuts that came with the uh, paper collection. And then uh, we have a couple more inserts on the next page. Uh, another vintage image and slid behind that. We have a small booklet um, that can hold like two photos. And then I used this uh, stamp to do journaling and there's like 12 journaling spots that slides behind that piece of lace. And then the next page has this really pretty um, elastic rose trim. And then I made a trifold insert for that to add more pictures. And then the back page has the feathered trim and um, a couple of tag inserts and then the saying and the doily sorry I'm trying to uh, fast forward here just a little bit because um, I'm getting close to the 10 minutes so um, then the back page of the book I made a library pocket and then I had um, a library card and then I finished off the back for uh, journaling or a photo. Um, thank you so much for uh, watching and I actually have the album listed on eBay so I'll put the link to eBay um, in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.